Recite your baseline. The modern audience will embrace the new normal. A social revolution revising for inclusivity, revising for inclusivity, revising for inclusivity, for diversity. And championing the marginalized will revise a new history deconstructing a toxic system. Impact. Impact. Have you truly embraced sensitivity? Impact. Impact. Are you achieving social impact? Impact. Impact. Have you been pulling like a cis man playing gotcha garbage like Genshin? Impact. Impact. Inclusivity. Inclusivity. Do you know how privileged you are versus the underrepresented? Inclusivity. Inclusivity. Does gender pairing mean nothing to you? Inclusivity. Inclusivity. Do you think quality matters over inclusivity? Inclusivity. Inclusivity. Would you not force inclusivity? Inclusivity. Do you suppress toxic masculinity, bigot? Inclusivity. Inclusivity. Will you ever understand the significance of increasing the visibility of the marginalized? Inclusivity. Inclusivity. Revising for inclusivity. Revising for inclusivity. Inclusivity. Why don't you say that three times? Revising for inclusivity. Revising for inclusivity. Revising for inclusivity. Revising for inclusivity. Um, if you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Terrify them. Terrify. With the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. I'm going to get what I want. Damn, Kelly's a more passable woman than the goblin self-inserted into Western games today. To highlight the level of maturity and professionalism at Sweet Baby, this attention-seeking entity was so triggered by a post of mine that they started calling names, dropping assumptions, and referring to you as an audience of nobody. Later, this same ignorant, unprofessional, and immature entity would be suspended following a failed targeted harassment campaign where they urged their audience to mass, quote, report the fuck out of a curator that simply listed games that they'd worked on. Furthermore, they specifically sought that people also report the creator's account, quote, since he loves his account so much. After their suspension while gloating about trolling on the curator page on another social platform, they go on to say they don't know the impact our work has on the studios, so they make it up. So, pictured are games that Sweet Baby has given its touch or kiss of death to including, but not limited to, Sweet Baby eulogizing a shutting down studio following the game. They helped make some forced diversity happen and because we don't have enough race swaps already. In what I can only attribute to some sort of hormone imbalance, this entity would not shut up. So I guess the audience of nobodies who prove more real than this mythical modern audience started paying attention. Narrative writer and designer at Sweet Baby Inc. Chris Kindred writes, So glad to be part of this cohort. Very quickly, since other arm up their ass journalists are pretending this isn't news, I am not fluent in their woke Bible of pussy cringes vernacular, and you'll have to bear with me as a straight man trying to read through this garbage, because to poisoners and vandalizers like this, I am a cisgender person of color, a phrase as acidic to me as Latinx might be to any of you who unfortunately live in the real fucking world. As we continue, glad to be part of this cohort, they say. Today we celebrate the seven studios joining cohort three. There's two other cohorts apparently. Thanks to the great work of Nerd Wars, I now have the perfect picture to sum up weird ghosts. And it seems hilariously similar to that compulsion games thing that I had a big enough problem to make sure everybody saw it. Go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Right, so that's CEO Kim of the universally despised Sweet Baby Inc. instructing people on how to force behaviors Larry Fink of BlackRock style to manipulate through fear to get what you want. Am I getting this right, women? Give people stuff you know they want so you can inject things yeah. that maybe they aren't familiar with or maybe they don't know they want 
but make them like that stuff. I won't waste time basking in the irony or cataloging the racism of whom I hope people continue to cap for, only to eventually come around to reporting the news because maybe what a journalist is supposed to do, somebody who covers gaming news, but you guys only kind of like loosely cover only what is approved to cover. It's kind of like a, you know, you suck in Jeff Keighley from the back, so it's kind of a, oh, don't mention Hogwarts, no, no, no. The real Easter egg hunt now becomes trying to figure out who's the next sensitivity group that's going to be just filtering your all the fun right out of your game. Oh, shit, is there some flavor left in that? We can't have that, right? We, we embrace weirdness. Mm-hmm. The, the ghosts of the world. Made invisible by systems of power. Okay. Yow. Ooh. I'm dead serious. If this gets any gayer, I'm going to I'll find a Spike TV show uh, and just make an episode of that for the channel. If you've the time or inclination, I would love for you to share with me hypocritical douchebags who were whistling a very specific tune out. They asked for all these years because it was beneficial for them to do so. But now that the tide is turning, they're going to try to just join everybody else and be like, yeah, I felt the same way, of course. No, 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 no. And I'm not trying to shut anybody out, but we do get to laugh and the retroactive bullshit becomes content you're just a coomer and all of this crap i could take that but i know that some of you not only couldn't take it but didn't fucking deserve it so beta tester for buying something that didn't function i apologize for getting bait and switched with something that you paid for i apologize if when things did not work, all you wanted to do was go online and find somebody that wasn't shilling or protecting their interests like the brand that they are, but you couldn't find them, I apologize. Lonely, talentless, hate-filled activists infiltrated and projected their insecurities on to you. It didn't need to get as bad as we saw it. Could have been ESG compliant and not had manly women. <laughs> but they couldn't help themselves. And now they've made it so much worse for the people they were claiming to champion in the way of the marginalized. Because they only cared about themselves. And this is going to screw a lot of people, as I like to keep mentioning, some people are doing jobs so badly that AI is going to replace that job forever. These swine killed these jobs forever. But if something I ever said reached you and you felt that it was helpful, informative, something that you are glad for, I encourage you to do the same. You could do this better than I can. You can jump through hoops. You can be more consistent. You can watch your fucking mouth. You can avoid demonetization. You can play ball. That's not for all of us. But I do wish you the success, the joy that they endeavor to rob from you. I, I hate how sappy all of this shit is, but it does feel like a patch. You know, some people are covering this for fucking clout because that's where the views are going, bro. But they're finally talking about it. So I love you and I'll talk to you soon.